come to this. And have you already talked about this today, Sam? Yeah. Some of you may have seen this before because some of my work, I'm very proud to be working um, with um, Dave Whitaker, the principal of Springwell in Barnsley, and his fantastic team teaches a special school, community special school. And I remember having a conversation with Dave about how, do, what, how would we sum up the relationship between the adults and the children in the school? And we summed it up like this, and I'll explain why it's in Latin in a minute. But that's what it means. It means the relationship is one of warmth, intimacy, banter and trust. And before you start thinking to yourself, well that sounds nice, that sounds cuddly. Sounds proper cuddly that, lovely that. Well, that won't work with our school. Well, I will suggest that, that this, is a cha this is a school working with the most challenging of children. And that's, that's not a mission statement. That's just summing up the relationships in the school. Now, I think, I mean, we translated it into Latin. I'll tell you very quickly because I, I do believe Michael Gove might be coming to visit. So I, I suggested we put that on a plaque in the entrance there. So when he walks in, he'll go, oh, buzzing. <laughs> So put him in a room with Kyle. <laughs> What's the plaque on your wall? What's the plaque on your wall in your classroom that sums up what it's like to be in your class? There's a plaque. I've added clarity to that. You get your own plaque on blueplaque.com. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has the word London on it, which is in the south. <laughs> There's two types of teacher, isn't there? There's the teacher when an elephant walks past the window. There's that, which are you? There's the teacher that goes, Ooh. Look at me! Look at me! What's the bloody elephant? Look at me! There's stuff to do. And then there's the teacher who says, Right. There's a... <laughs> There's an elephant out there. <laughs> What's the first thing we need to do to keep it safe? <laughs> Year two. <laughs> and they will tell you, won't they? They'll tell you because we know, don't we, our early years children, our key stage one kids, they're raw imagineers at that age. That's where they're asking the best questions and if I've got time I'd like to come back to questioning. Because these are, this is how we get kids hooked in, with a beautiful question like that. Now the elephant is a metaphor for the world. <laughs> and I learned this and the tutelage of, of great people in my school, um, some of whom are here. Matthew, my, my head teacher there, Debbie Kidd who, who started the conference off this morning and so on. They taught me that actually what we need to be doing is looking outward and not just looking inward at our schools, in our schools and at our curriculum. So, the elephant, that's Brazil. The elephant is D-Day. The elephant is the commemoration of the start of the First World War. Are you doing that? You should be doing that. You should be there, in your curriculum somewhere. And it doesn't matter if you say, well, I can't do it because, because I'm, I'm, I'm science or I'm, I'm food technology. Well, should we sit down and find a way? Should we sit down and find a way so when kids are with you, it's resonating. The work is resonating and making sense. Um, sorry about that slide, it's a bit gruesome, but that question about the world is a lovely way. If, if you can't fit it into your curriculum, because you're here as, as an interested teacher, but really you have no influence back in your school, you feel, then what do we do at the start of our lessons? If your lesson starts at ten past nine, what time does learning and thinking start? What time is that starting? And I know as a secondary teacher, if it starts at ten past nine, we're learning and thinking probably about 18 minutes past. There's a bit of dead time. What I've discovered that now, I, I, I travel around and I, I still work in classrooms, it's very important to me, but I'm not tied to one school. And something I use with children who I've not worked with before usually, and often with teachers watching, is I'll use an image or I'll use a task. Just something really quick that will give the kids a measure of me where I can set my expectations very quickly and set my stall out, if you like, very quickly. Um, and give them something to chew over before I start giving them stuff just to swallow. Like, you know, facts. I'll give them some stuff to think about. I want you to have a go at this. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you for saying yes so well. <laughs>
and the reason now because I went into year two once, first time I've been in year two uh, for a while, and I went in and this this teacher got the kids in, and I'm a secondary teacher, got the kids in, and she was like, Oliver on the blue spot, Chloe on the thinking cloud, everyone else here, <laughs> and, they, and they all got there, and they're all ready, brilliant. I don't know what the thinking cloud was, I don't know what blue spot was. Oliver looked a bit sheepish like, you know, like perhaps I'm there again. <laughs> and she said, are you yes or are you no? And all the kids went, yes! Now in any other context that would have been weird. It would have been like, like the wicker man. It's it just good, it's just great. And then when we went to assembly, the head went, are you yes or no? And the entire school were like, yeah, yeah. And I just thought that was wonderful. I thought it was wonderful. Now, I, I did go and try it with year nine. <laughs> Are you yes or no? <laughs> You're on child line. <laughs> well, you do, so you'll do this very quickly for me. Very quickly, no time. Can you invent the fifth season? We know the four seasons, not Frankie Valley. We know there's four seasons. And I've pointed them to you here. This is a settler. This is something that the kids can be trained to do straight away. An activity, a task. But I'll help you now. I'm going to scaffold for you. So here's some questions that will help you. Hey, invent the fifth season, which I know is mortifying some of you because you don't like imagining stuff. That's not what you're here for. That's not what you're here for. But you're going to have to. You're going to have to make it up. Okay? What's the fifth season? What's it called? Year three called Exprotum. <laughs> right, what are you going to call it? Do we need specialist equipment? What's the weather like? How's it reported on Look North, Midlands Today, or any other one of your award winning regional <laughs> programmes? Um, what, how does Morrison's prepare for it on its seasonal aisle? <laughs> what do we do with old people? What do we do with young people? What are the rules? How do rules change? Does the crime rate go up or down? Is everyone happy or is everyone worried? How do we celebrate it and when do we celebrate it? The beginning or the end? What happens? What is the fifth season? One minute, off you go. <laughs>